welcome back. Ah. Today, we're not really gonna go over something tactical. Today, we're just gonna work on our strength and conditioning, quote unquote. It is very important in boxing, and that is pretty much the strength of your forms. But it's use, useful and physio physiologically, it's just to hold on to things too. So pretty much uh, in boxing, it's a very important aspect because it's part of your hands, and you just wanna have stronger hands, stronger forearms, to be able to land these punches and not get hurt. Okay, so one of the first exercises that you guys could actually do is pretty simple. All you guys need is a barbell and a little bit of weight. Right here, we, we, we're kind of lazy and we don't want to take out the weight, to be honest with you. So we're using pretty, I don't want to say super heavy weight, but heavy weight for your form, which is a little muscle group. Okay, so the exercise itself is like this. You pick up the weight and you let it roll off your fingers. Let it roll off your fingers and then kind of curl it with your forearms. You should see your forearms really working. Let it roll off your fingers and bring it back to your forearms. Okay, so while you're working your forearm, anything with an underhand grip will more than likely be hitting the flexors of your arm. Remember, the hand flexor group is a group of muscles. There's certain muscles that are inside that group itself. I do not want to get into so much detail, but just keep that in mind. So, so you tried it this way, right? With the, with the, with the palms facing you. Now you guys could actually do it palms, palms down. You let it roll off your fingers and you just curl it the same way. It's the same thing, except that the palms are kind of facing you, facing away from you. Boom. Okay, so having this overhand grip will actually be hitting another important muscle group inside your forearm. These are the hand extensor groups. Once again, the extensors are a group of muscles that are composed of other muscles as well. And these muscles can be found on the posterior side of the forearm, on the posterior side of your body. Okay, and here's a variation to the exercise that we showed you guys in the previous clip. It's pretty much the same form, same concept. Uh, you let it roll off your fingers and you curl it up. And this is, I guess, a good variation, especially if you're lazy or you lost a limb or two. You know, I don't know for whatever may reason it may be. This is just a simple variation to that. Another thing you guys could do, this is pretty easy, pretty simple, nothing to it. If you guys want, get a pull-up bar and pretty much just hold on to it so if for example let's say somewhere between like 30 to 30 seconds to a minute a minute and 30 seconds just pretty much uh, almost like if you were doing a pull-up bar or i mean if you were doing a pull-up or a chin-up depending what grip you want to work so you pretty much go up here almost like if you're doing like a chin-up but go like halfway there so there's some tension in your forearms and just hold on for it for like 30 seconds you should actually my forearms here are kind of tired so you guys could actually see me kind of shaking, but pretty much it's a very good workout for your forearms, helps you with your grip, your strength, and your forearms are put to the test. Okay, so the last one on our list is the most simplest one. These are called grip grip strengtheners, hand grip strengtheners. I googled, I googled it, so I did not come up with this name. They're not that unusual to find. A lot of people have this. Yeah, my dad had this. My dad had it laying around somewhere. So pretty much what this is, is just so you can work out your, your grip. Pretty much all you have to do is squeeze them. You know, I, I say just work your time under tension, maybe three to five seconds. So it's probably like one, two, three, four, five. Release, again, one, two, three, four, five. Release, and once again, you see your forearms working. One, two, three, four, Five, release. One, two, three, four, five, release. And then once you got your sets done on one hand, you work the other hand. These are just simply four, three, four different ways you guys could actually work out your forearm. Try all these exercises out, tell us how it goes. Uh, hopefully next time we see you guys, you guys have some Popeye's forearms. So just, you know, hit us up. All of our social medias in the description box, follow us on our Instagrams. Uh, hit that notification button that way you guys are notified every time we upload a new video go check out our other channels hopefully you guys uh, share this video with your grandma and your girlfriend we love your girlfriend so thank you have a good one